Hi, my name is Gerald and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. And today we will be making a landscape auto material. So let's open up our Unreal Engine 5. Then let's create a new blank project. Make sure your starter content is checked on. And then I'm just going to leave the project location to my desktop and change the project name to whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine landscape auto then click create then we will make a new level but first let's create a new maps folder inside our content drawer to make it organized let's right click content and then create new folder let's call this maps and then we will make a new level by going to file click new level and then let's pick default then let's delete this platform or floor. And then let's create our landmass. Now, if you don't have landmass plugin uh, enabled in your Unreal Engine 5, you can do this by going to edit, go to plugins, and then search for landmass. And then just click this checkbox. It's going to ask you to restart your Unreal Engine, just click Restart now. Save selected. Just gonna save this inside my maps. Call it Landscape Level. And click Save. Now that we're back, close this window. Let's go to our content drawer and let's look for our newly created level. Double click it. Now that we're back in our new level let's create our landmass you can do this by clicking the landscape editing icon at the top of your screen or uh, hit shift 2 in your keyboard now i'm just gonna leave the default values as it is so i'm just gonna click create then let's go to our content drawer let's Dock in layout so we don't have to keep clicking content drawer each time we needed it. Then let's create a new folder inside content and call it materials. And inside this material, we will be creating a new material called material master auto material. You can name it whatever you want. Now let's create an instance for this material. You can right click the newly created material and then click create material instance. Leave the name as it is. Then let's assign this instance to our landscape. You can do this by going to your world outliner at the top right of your screen. And then click landscape, scroll down look for landscape material let's click and drag our auto material instance to this landscape material now let's create our material functions you can do this by right clicking inside the materials folder go to materials and texture and click material function now let's call this grass because we will be needing grass and then let's duplicate this and uh, create a third material function. Now double click one of the material functions. I'm going to double click grass. And inside this material graph, let's open up our content drawer. And then go back to materials and open up dirt. Now we will be recreating the grass and dirt materials inside our starter content so that we don't have to create our own textures so to do this to recreate those materials let's open up our content drawer again go to starter content go to materials and then look for m ground grass open this up by double double clicking it and then again let's go back to our content drawer and then let's look for m ground gravel open this up by double clicking it now 
Let's go back to our M ground grass. Now we will be selecting all the nodes except for the final one. Click and drag. And then let's copy these nodes by pressing Ctrl C. Now let's go to our grass material function. Then just paste it here by pressing Ctrl V. I'm just going to move this to align to our output. Let's create a make material attributes. We can do this by clicking and dragging the node connector of the output result. Drag it to anywhere it's empty. And then let's uh, type in make material attributes. Now next is we will be connecting these copied nodes into our make material attributes. Now, now to know which is the base color, the roughness, and the normals, we can go back to our M ground grass and then zoom in. And then as you can see, this lerp right here is connected to this base color. This one constant is connected to this roughness. And this node right here is connected to this normal. So we will just be recreating that. So let's go back to our grass. And then again, this is the last node for the base color. The slurp. Let's connect this to the base color. This constant to the roughness. And then this flat normal lerp to our normal. As you can see inside our preview window, we've actually recreated this grass texture. So let's save this. And then let's do the same to our dirt material function. Let's go to our M ground gravel, select all the nodes except for the last one. Let's hit Control C, and then let's go to dirt material function. And then paste it here. Control V. Let's move it right here. Again, let's click and drag this node connector and look for make material attributes. Then let's connect our multiply to this base color. And then the roughness to roughness. And then the normal to normal. Okay, we've recreated our ground gravel material. Let's save this. Now we don't need our reference material, so we're just going to close this windows, these tabs. And then let's go to our content drawer. Let's go back to our own material folder. Let's open up our main master material. In my case, it is mm underscore auto material. Then we will be uh, importing our grass and dirt material function. We can do this by going to content drawer and then just click dirt and grass, uh, select both, and then just drag it inside our material graph. I'm going to organize this, make sure the grass is on top of the dirt. Next is we'll be needing a break material attribute. So we can do this by right clicking anywhere that is empty. Then type in break material attributes. Click it. Let's put this dirt all the way down here. Because this break material attributes, we're, we're going to be assigning this in, uh, with our grass material function. So we will be needing another break material attribute. So let's just duplicate this. Duplicate. And then let's move this down here. Now let's connect our grass material function to this attribute. Let's do the same for dirt. Now let's create a linear interpolate right click anywhere that's empty and then type in linear interpolate 
Now for our A inside our lerp, we will be using dirt base color. This will make our dirt as our main material texture. And then our grass to B as our secondary material texture. Next is we will be creating a world aligned blend to blend these two material textures. So let's look for or let's type for world aligned blend. Let's put it right here. Actually, let's move this here, here. And this alpha right here, this output alpha, we will be connecting this to this alpha lerp. And then let's connect our lerp output node to our main material base color. Let's see what it looks like. As you can see, it's just the dirt texture. In order for us to blend this to texture, we will need a blend sharpness and blend bias. To be able to edit this, we will create a scalar parameter. And let's call this grass dirt sharp. Let's create another scalar parameter. Let's call this grass dirt bias let's align it here and then let's connect our grass dirt sharp to this blend sharpness and then grass dirt bias to blend bias let's go to our grass dirt sharp and let's put the default value to 50 and then the grass dirt bias let's change the default value to negative 5 as you can see, we have two textures in this one material. Now, we will actually be needing a um, few more nodes for our roughness and normal. So in order to do this, let's create a new linear interpolate. And then let's place it here. Let's grab our roughness node inside our grass material attribute and let's place it to B. And then let's grab our dirt roughness and place it to A. Now we will use the same world align blend down here for our alpha. Just click and drag. And then let's connect this node output to our roughness and then let's create another linear interpolate and this will be used for our normal now let's grab this normal output node to letter b and then uh, the normal output for the third to letter a and then again we will be using our world aligned blend but this time we will be using the with explicit normal to our alpha let's connect this final node to our normal now as you can see in our preview window our grass is now blended with our dirt now let's apply this then let's go back to our main Unreal Engine project. You will see that our landscape now is all grass. Now, if we try to sculpt this, what happens is, in order for you to edit this, let's go back to our select editing mode and then go to material instance, our material instance down here. Let's create, let's make this window smaller. And then at the right side panel, check the grass dirt bias and then grass dirt sharp. And then you can play around with the values. Now I'm going to change the grass dirt sharp to about 15. As you can see, if we go back to our sculpt, let's minimize this window. 
if we go back to our landscape editing mode and sculpt, you can see that our material changes depending on the height of our landscape. And uh, that is it. That's, uh, that's how you create a auto material for your landscape. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. And I hope you learned something new. If you like more of this kind of videos, please subscribe to my channel and leave down a comment below if you have any video suggestions. And that is it. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.